Hello my data science friends, hope you are having a wonderful day. I am Divan Chagwal and you are watching Knowledge Overflow. Today we will be talking about yet another data science program that is offered by Queen's University and this course goes by the name of Masters of Management Analytics or better known as MMA. So in this video we will be talking about how to apply eligibility criteria, course curriculum, fees, scholarships, everything. So stay tuned to the last of this video to know everything about this course and if you like the video please subscribe to the channel and share this video with your friends who are looking out for data science courses around the world because it could be very helpful for them. Now if we talk about this university, so this university, Queen's University is situated in Kingston, Canada which is near to downtown Toronto so you will be having a very vibrant city to live in, you will be studying, you will be partying, everything is there. As for the university, the world rank is 240, status is public and the research output is very high, student to faculty ratio is a bit off but yet again it is better than any Indian university anytime and the scholarships are there of course I'll be talking about in a while international students are already close to 4000 and the size is large so they have a beautiful large campus across downtown Toronto and if you talk about uh, the subject ranking so this particular course is offered by the school of business Smith school of business to be precise and they have got a world rank of 150 to 200 rank band and as for the graduate employability ranking you can see it lies in the rank band of 101 to 110 so you will be working with top brands in Canada and most probably in downtown Toronto itself now circling back to the course this is the main landing page of this course and uh, if we scroll a little bit you will see the titles that the graduates of this particular course have been holding so you can see AVP program analytics, manager of analytics, business analyst, director of database marketing, AVP business intelligence, lead data scientist, senior manager of product management, director of data sciences, director of product management, business intelligence specialist. So these kind of roles already people from this course have assumed. So you can look out for what you are going to get. And as for this particular course, this is focused more towards the business side. So if you are looking out for core computer science things, you can look out for other courses but this course is more focused towards business side but if you are a computer science graduate and looking out for having some business knowledge this could be the right course for you so this is the course that will equip you with the business insights things rather than going into core computer science concepts but yes there will be a lot of subjects of data science that you will be studying here so you will be studying data science with aspect of business. Scrolling down a little bit, you will find four key points that they have highlighted that you will be a certified analytics professional. You will be getting a SAS certified predictive modeler title as well because this particular certification is a part of their curriculum. So you will be getting a SAS certified predictive modeler certification while you are pursuing this course. And as for this course, there are two ways to earn this degree. We'll be talking about uh, just in a minute. Let's just scroll this page first. So this particular course is also recognized by the Vector Institute for Artificial Intelligence and all students uh, enrolled into this course are eligible to apply for the scholarships which can be up to 17,500 Canadian dollars and uh, the key features include the curriculum they have given the curriculum we will be talking about this in a while and uh, this is also a part of scotia bank center for customer analytics so scotia bank is also using queen's university's analytics inside to help with their analytics needs and there are special events they have special events which include special speakers events business networking everything related to business basically now if we talk about the program formats as i told you about there are two program formats first of all you need to clear your preferences so there are two options uh, one is the Toronto based option and other one is the blended option so in the blended option you will be studying online anywhere from the world and uh, there will be live instructor sessions and in MMA Toronto it would be based in the Smith Toronto a dedicated learning facility in downtown Toronto and there will be some sessions which will be held at Queen's University as well now to your preferences do you want to have a capstone project as a part of your masters if yes you will be going for mma blended there is no option for a capstone project in the mma toronto based so if you would like to do a capstone project you will be having an mma blended course also if you are interested in international study trips you will be required to go for the mma blended option but this also includes other separate fees i will not go into that i will pass this link you can have a look at that but these international study trips are for the san francisco california which has to happen in april 2022 for the winter session of course and there is one in Tallinn, the capital of estonia to be happened in october 2022 
so you can have a look at it i will pass this fees link to into the video description now as for the comparison for the formats uh, the degree will be the same master of management analytics program length is again same for both of them 12 months and can i take the program while working yes this program can be taken while working as for the format in person classes are conducted in evening and weekend in at smith toronto so it is a dedicated learning facility i already told you about plus there will be two immersive sessions at the smith school of business main campus at the queen's university in kingston in blended learning the format will be blended learning of course you will be having some self-directed online courses and some live instruction sessions and apart from that two immersive sessions will be there uh, like the in-person toronto base so for that you will have to go to that particular campus after you study all these courses that is towards the end so these immersive sessions that we are talking about is towards the end so once your all of your studies is completed and you have to complete the immersive sessions you will have to go to the smith school of business and it would be for a few days only and team-based learning yes of course course curriculum we'll be talking in a while there is no absolutely no difference in terms of course curriculum however just the only difference is if you want to have a capstone project you will have to go for the blended option coaching and career support is available for both of them international travel component is not required for this in person toronto but international study trips that i told you about uh, a while back is a part of the mma blended program and that is completely optional if you want to have it you can have it otherwise you can leave it as well now the fees so fees is for the january intake january 2022 intake now i guess the january intake would not be possible so for january 2022 intake the fees for international students was 76750 canadian dollars for the winter session now if we convert it into indian rupees that would correspond to 45,24,500 Indian rupees and for the spring session which will be starting in April 2022 the total fees would be 79,900 Canadian dollars which will correspond to 47,10,000 Indian rupees scholarships are available we'll be talking about it in a while so this was the format comparison now if we talk about the curriculum so the curriculum is robust you know there is no option of elective whatsoever so these are the courses that you will be studying uh, there is this acquisition and management of data, AI ethics and policy, analytical decision making, analytics for financial markets, analytics project management, big data analytics, creating high performance teams, entrepreneurship and innovation, introduction to analytic modeling, introduction to management, leading change, machine learning and AI, marketing analytics, operations and supply chain analytics, predictive modeling and pricing analytics. So these are the courses that you will be studying in, in this particular course and there is no option of electives whatsoever. For the technical training, uh, you can see on the right side of the screen that you will be exposed to a variety of tools like Python, SQL, R, Tableau, SAS, SAS, that I was talking about, the SAS certification, Hadoop and Spark. So you will be having access to LinkedIn Learning and Udemy as well. This is a very good option they have given. There is one more interesting thing that comes out of this particular course. So you can apply Master of Management Analytics credits so whatever credits you have earned you can apply towards the mba program at smith school of business as well so queen's university gives you this uh, option to convert your credits from this particular course to your mba to fast track your mma to mba also if you in case make up your mind that now i want to go for an mba as well after completing an mma that is a very good option queen's university's mba is worldwide recognized you can go for an mba and you will be paying a much lesser fee than it was expected expected earlier now if we talk about the admission requirements the most important thing now you are interested in this course now what are the requirements first things first the rolling admission policy is there in smith school of business so once the application is received if they find it suiting our university needs they will accept it right away it's not like you have to apply and wait for the deadline so that everybody applies and then go for it typically the students entering the mma program are people with undergraduate degree in business or people with degree in mathematics engineering sciences or social sciences or IT and other professionals so this is the typical class profile that they have given as for the requirements all you have to have is an undergraduate degree from an accredited university in mathematics business computer science economics engineering or science there is no restriction on a three or four year degree whatsoever so if you are doing a bsc degree or any other degree related to this particular courses that they have written you are most welcome to apply 
and another thing that you need to keep in mind is you need to have at least one mathematics or statistics subject to be taught in your undergraduate course which specifically covers hypothesis testing linear regression and their applications so you need to have at least one mathematics or statistics subject of that kind relevant work experience also so you might be aware that most of the mba courses ask you for some relevant work experience although they also take some people with no experience at all and this degree with being more or less towards the mba itself they also ask you to have relevant work experience but if you are an exceptional applicant without work experience you may be considered for this particular course and gmat is not required but if you read this whole line you will see while not required a gmat may be recommended to strengthen your application so it all boils down to whether your application is strong enough without the gmat or you need to appear for the gmat now suppose for the fresher students you know as you know you will not be having uh, the relevant work experience you will be missing out on point two so this point could well go with you so you might need gmat because there is no work experience with you guys so it is advisable that you go for the gmat otherwise if you have work experience say for like four to five years i don't think gmat is required your four to five years of work experience say a lot and there is particularly no need of gmat otherwise if you are a fresher level maybe one or two years of experience giving a gmat is something that i would advise on a personal note not from the queen's university perspective programming languages you need to show some kind of proficiency in r or python and if you not have this experience they have also written that if you do not have uh, this experience your application advisor will be able to recommend online courses to increase your programming acumen so you will be assigned with an application advisor as well and uh, you need to provide the uh, english language proficiency as well like most of the universities and uh, for those whose first language is not english and uh, the undergraduate degree was not in english you will need to provide the english language proficiency scores so there are only two tests that are accepted by this particular course that is the toefl or the ielts and as for the scores they haven't given the score band that they require but they have written that you must achieve a satisfactory score on one of the accepted tests as for the application you would also require a ves assessment i have told you about this as well so most of these universities these days have started this ves assessment so what is ves is world education services this is a third party in to which you submit your application and they go through that application very carefully and uh, tells you about if anything is missing if anything is odd about your mark sheets and everything basically if anything is odd about your uh, application uh, WES will let you know and you can rectify it and then send it to Queen's University so it is a mandatory requirement that you get your uh, application WES assessed finally you can apply here is the application form there is no application fees whatsoever for this particular application all you have to do is just to fill this pretty intuitive application form and here you will be filling in all the details and all and just submit the application that's all I already told you about the fees for winter and spring sessions separately and uh, now if we talk about the scholarships so this is the scholarship section on the right side of the screen you can have a look so these are for Ontario student domestic student international student so this is not useful it is a loan not a scholarship a vector institute scholarship I already told you about you will be getting a value of 17,500 Canadian dollars if you successfully apply for this uh, scholarship and get selected for that uh, apart from that there are some academic scholarships uh, that is offered by the dean's office so this is directly offered by the dean's office and is known as dean's entrance scholarships so if you have a very outstanding academic and professional background you might have a chance to get some academic scholarship right from the dean's office so these were the only scholarship options that i could find in this course and this was all about this particular course so if you like the course please subscribe to the channel apply to this course share this video with your friends who are looking out for data science courses it might be helpful for them as well it will save you a lot of time it will save them a lot of time searching for the information at one place so please share this video as much as possible and i'll keep coming with data science courses around the world until next video, au revoir.